that's a bit different from the kinds of videos that I usually do. So it's gonna be a story time video and it's gonna, about a, gonna be about the summer where we had bed bugs in this very same bed. Yes, uh, we did not get rid of it, but um, I'll explain why. <laughs> so before we start, I like to debunk some misconceptions about bed bugs because people don't know much about them and there's a lot of like judgment that comes with having bed bugs. So the first one is if you have bed bugs, it does not reflect as uh, on the cleanliness of your space, meaning that your space doesn't have to be gross and dirty for you to get bed bugs. Basically, hotels have a lot of problems with bed bugs because of the constant movement um, you know of people staying there and five-star hotels can have bed bugs because people will inadvertently bring some or take some with and you could have the nicest house the cleansy clean sorry cleanliest house and you could have bed bugs because let's say you go on a trip and you stay at a hotel and you leave your uh, bag on the floor which you should never do you should always put your luggage on so like higher up like on a dresser or a table or something you could have some bed bugs crawl into your luggage and inadvertently bring some home and then before you know it you have an infestation so we had bed bugs and a lot of the reactions that some people had when i told them was oh like you must not have been cleaning and it's like yes obviously we're not perfect you've seen in my like day-to-day -day vlog or what was it um work in like i did a vlog um and my kitchen wasn't the cleanest but I mean, I clean every single week. I vacuum, I'm like, I'll mop, uh, maybe not as often as I should, but I'll mop regularly. Um, I'll wipe the counters. I mean, when I say I, it's not just me, it's also my boyfriend who I live with, but we'll clean up, you know? It's not perfect, it's a bit messy. Um, but anyways, you can, so all to say, no, you're not a dirty person if you have bed bugs. I mean, once you have them, it does feel make you feel dirty. And that's the other reason why I wanna make this video is for anyone who's had bed bugs, it's kind of, I don't want to say traumatizing necessarily because maybe that's kind of like um, putting down experiences that are more serious, but it is a very uncomfortable situation and you face a lot of like social judgment and it it's kind of isolating and it's very stressful. So now I'll start about how we discovered that we had bed bugs. So, and I'll insert a picture. Um, and like I said, if you had bed bugs before, the story might bring back bad memories. So maybe don't watch it. Like I know, like whenever I see pictures of bed bugs or like I talk it, about it again, I get like my body feels like it's gonna start like it's scratchy. And anyways, so basically it was so it wasn't last summer; it was the summer before, so summer 2018. And my sister was staying overnight a couple nights in Montreal because she was flying out to France where my fam like my extended family lives and I, I think if I recall I went out to get something with her I think some money because she needed like some cash to take the taxi to the airport and I come home and my boyfriend is like Matilda like I have something to show you like I found something in our bed and it's some kind of bug and like right away I'm like what like this is weird like maybe you know it's starting to be summer maybe a bug had like crawled into our bed or something and he shows it to me and I'm like, hmm, this is weird. Like it, it resembles something that I've seen because I had taken an insect biology course and we had learned about like different like families of insects and it, it looked, it looked, it looked familiar. So I'll insert the picture here. So basically, um, I looked it up and it had that same like squished kind of body like reddish brownish size of a ladybug and it, it was a bed bug so I actually kind of like I was kind of tired that day and sad that my sister was leaving and so I kind of like broke down and started like tearing up and like crying I was like why is this happening this is horrible I and like I did something that like really didn't help was like look up videos of infestations and the videos on YouTube were like the worst infestations like bedbugs crawling all over the floor and like ours wasn't like nearly as bad so honestly it just brought me more stress than anything else 
So the next day my sister had to fly out and actually I think I made a mistake. I think she was going back to her house in the US. So I told my mom, here's the thing, we have bed bugs. I read up online what you're supposed to do. So Amelia, when she comes in, she has to leave all her bags in the garage. She has to put all of her clothes in the dryer on high heat. Anything that cannot be um, put in the dryer has some somehow has to be uh, exposed to heat so maybe like a steamer or something because basically the only thing that kills them is like a very high temperature and if I recall it's like somewhere like 50 degrees I, I could be wrong uh, maybe I'll put links in the description uh, if that can help because obviously like we went in a warm wormhole of researches research sorry um, so I told my mom all of these things I told her um, to like body check my sister make sure there was no like hitchhikers um, and like we were all freaking out. She was sleeping in the next room. We have two bedrooms in this apartment. Uh, the other one we use as like an office slash um, like we have an extra bed so if people come and stay they can stay in that bed. And so we actually we slept in the living room because we were just so scared like the idea of sleeping in our bed with like these creatures crawling around was just disgusting. So then like like I said we did a lot of research and we're like shit we're gonna have to pay for like you know, a pest, uh, someone to eliminate pests and stuff. But then I read up on the like rules, like landlord and like tenant rules in Quebec. And um, basically the landlord has to pay for this kind of thing because it's just like, you're not, that's not like a sanitary clean, like clean environment to live in. Um, so it, what we ended up doing is like telling our landlord, well not a landlord, like our concierge who's in like communication with our landlord and he brought in a pest uh, inspector. So I guess, uh, I'm not, I don't really sure what order to talk about but since I'm talking about the pest inspector thing I'll, I'll talk about that and then I'll talk more about more like how we lived the experience, how it affected us, like our mental health and stuff. So the pest inspector came after like one or two weeks, um, I think, or three. I don't remember the timeline exactly how long it took him to get here. But um, in the meantime, we like looked up things to do. So we like set up traps uh, around our bed, but also around our um, sofa, because I think we spotted like one running in our living room. We didn't see any in the room next doors which was very good they were mostly localized in our bed um we also bought some diacetamus earth i don't think that's how you pronounce it but i can link it down below it's like a something that like really dries out uh insects with like hard shells uh, with exoskeletons um well all insects have exoskeletons it's like an exterior skeleton anyways um and we slept outside of our bed so the pest inspector came and we had to, at the time we only had one of my cats, Whiskey, we had to take him out and give him to a friend. We gave him a bath because we were like, okay, like what if he has like bed bugs in his fur? Like bed bugs won't stay on living things, but they might hitch a hike um, on a pet, although that's, that's unlikely. But we hadn't been letting him in the room for that reason, but also because we put the powder around our bed and we didn't want him to like inhale it because it's really bad for your lungs so we had him stay at our friend's uh, apartment who lives like two floors up and after that the pest inspector came oh and i forgot to explain why we had to do that basically once they spray your place you cannot stay in there like it's the fumes are like not good for you you need to wait like you need to open all the windows and wait for everything to, like for everything to settle but prior to that so what we didn't know so the pest inspector came he kind of like did a check he was like yeah these are indeed poop stains from um the bed bugs so i'll insert a picture here as well you can see like there's black stains on like our bed post and to this So, and yeah, and I hadn't noticed that on our bed um, sheet, there was like these weird black marks and I thought it was molds because it was getting really like humid and wet in our bedroom and I was like, that's weird, why would there be mold on our bed sheets and that ended up being that. Um, also another thing is um, I didn't have any uh, bites or anything and I don't think my boyfriend had any at first. So that's another thing. If you get, if you have allergies, it's... It's, it's a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing in the, the sense that you can know earlier on that you have them. Whereas if you don't react to them, they could be there for a while before you realize. And because you need to have a certain amount for 
to see one running around your bed in broad daylight. So we did have, like the pest inspector told us that we had had them for like, maybe like a month or two and we had been unaware of that this whole time because we didn't necessarily have bites. Like I noticed the little black dots in our bed sheets, but like I didn't think much of it. Um, and then the one thing he hadn't told us is before, prior to him coming, well, cause we hadn't been in communication with him, right? He had been com communicating with the concierge of the building. We had to put everything around our bed, everything in our bedroom, actually everything, was it just in our bedroom? I think in our living room too, just in case. Everything in garbage bags because uh, anything near our bed could be infested. So, you know, like our bed sheets, our clothes that were lying around, even my dresser used to be, and now it's like there in front of me, but usually it was like on the side, so it's closer to my bed. So I moved that, I took out everything from my drawers, we put them, threw them all in, in gar garbage bags, and we put everything in our bathtub. And I remember it was a very hot June. Yeah, I think it was around June. It was very hot. I was supposed to go to work, but I couldn't because the pest inspector was there, so I like messaged my, my workers, like I told them like in advance that this was probably gonna happen. They were like, yeah, we understand. Um, so we spent like one or two hours doing that. And then uh, where did we stay? I think we stayed in our friend's apartment with some fresh clothes, or maybe not, because we didn't want to contaminate. I don't remember what we did. I think we walked around town and like got some food or something. Eight hours later, we could go back into our apartment. We brought our cat back in. Um, I wanted to say something else, I forgot. Sorry, this is like all over the place because it was two years ago. So I'm trying to recall everything that happened to give you an idea of the experience. Oh yeah, so one thing is you have to sleep in your bed. That we did not know. That's why we'd been sleeping in the next room. And the reason for that is because they spray a bunch of stuff around your bed, um, but the bed bugs are very good at um, hiding. So they could be in cracks within your bed that could be in cracks in your in the walls they could even be in like outlets and they will hide until it's nighttime and then they'll come out and feed on you and um, if let's say you sleep in a different room eventually they have they will have nothing to eat so they will crawl out and they'll like go looking for a new source of food and eventually they'll find you like in the next room you know and that's why I think we got some in our, a little, like one or two in our, in our couch. So we had to sleep in our bed. And that was so horrible because anything, anything, any, anytime anything brushed my, my, my um, arm, I, I would like freak out, even if it was my sheet or if my boyfriend like, you know, accidentally grazed me uh, with his hand, like I would freak out and I couldn't sleep. I had like this vision of like, millions of bugs just crawling all over me which it wasn't that bad at that point like it was a couple at, at a time in the night that would come out um and it was just horrible i just couldn't sleep um and neither could my boyfriend and i think he started having reactions to them too he got woken up by one biting him once and like i remember like we would hang be reading actually not we would not really read in bed but we were, like about to go to bed and we'd like see one crawling around like a baby or something and ugh and uh, now I kind of like, oh, I wanted to, sorry, this is all over the place, but this is how this video is going to be because it's a story time. But another thing that our pest inspector told us is um, kind of what I said at the beginning is the whole cleanliness thing. And he said it wasn't our fault. We couldn't have known. Uh, you could pick them up, well, pick them up. You can get them anywhere. You could be riding the bus and um, someone who lives in an infested place has one in their pockets because once it gets too crowded with bed bugs, like they will like try and find other places. So they'll maybe like crawl in someone's pocket accidentally and then they'll come out in the bus, in the bus seats. You know, a lot of bus seats have like, at least in Montreal, they're like um, velvety. So it like, they'll hide in there. So ever since that, I always check bus seats like to see if there's black, little black stains and like anything, like I'm very paranoid. You can get them in library. One of the libraries in Montreal had an infestation that summer. And actually I was wondering if I got it from there because I went to that library, but it would not make sense because then I went to Boston and I stayed at these people's house and I know for a fact they didn't get bed bugs. So I probably got it somehow. Um, so he said like, it's not your fault. It could also have been someone who brought them in to the building, but. So my mental health was really bad. Uh, I couldn't sleep. 
I had nightmares. I was, I'm an anxious person. I just felt gross. All our stuff, well, like we bought these plastic bins and we put them out. So we didn't really have a closet. We just like lived out of boxes in our, like in our other room or in our, like with like clothing in them. Oh, and that's the thing also, we had to put every single clothes through a very high heat dryer. And the things that we can not put through the high heat dryer, we bought a steamer for. So we spent a lot of money on laundry and we spent money on that steamer. And we even steamed the around our bed. And I remember one evening, it was really hot and I was like, I had no like running clothes because they were all like in those garbage bags before we organized them in these like Rubbermaid bins. And I went on a run outside and I was kind of crazy. Like I was in like these jean shorts and I had my hair down, which I usually tie it up when I'm running. And I was just running around the neighborhood, just like, and I, I got to a park bench and I sat down there and I was like crying and I like, I called my boyfriend and I was like, hey, like, I think I'm just gonna sleep on this park bench because I don't know, uh, I don't, I can't. <laughs> so it's pretty bad and it can really affect some people mentally. The other thing is we couldn't have friends over and we prevented ourselves from going to other people's homes. So we were extra careful. And if we did go to other people's homes, we would um, change. And it just was very isolating because it was the summer and people were having like events. Like the only time we went was like, if it was like something outside, cause like whatever, they'll be out. Like it's not really gonna infest the outside. Um, so yeah. And uh, another thing that we did was we bought something to put over our mattress to like encase it in. It's like, it's like a, a case for a mattress like that we zipped it up. Hey, this is editing Matilde. I just want to add something to the video. So I talked about why we never got rid of our bed. Um, well, earlier on it wasn't a good idea because we didn't want to like accidentally spread more bugs to our neighbors. Um, but we just were always scared that they would come back. So we just kept our bed because we were like, well, not really worth buying a new bed and then getting a new infestation from like, because there's a lot of movement in our building. So we figured there might be another infestation at some point. Maybe that's not like a good excuse because it is a bit like, like I said, the bed posts are a bit gross. But other than that, like we threw out all our bedding that was like affected by this that summer and our like all our pillows and our mattress are encased in like a plastic thing. So yeah, basically we'll get rid of our bed when we move out of this place, which is probably going to be next summer because we'll be done with our degrees. Fingers crossed. Also, I know I have new hair. Um, this is the last time that I like do something to my hair, but uh, it feels healthy still because I cut it. Uh, anyways, that's like not really part of the video, but um, I think my hair has been like my self-expression during quarantine. But anyways, so yeah, that's why we didn't like get rid of our bed. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. Um, Yeah, I just want to say like when we had them, we did like everything to not spread them to people. So like it was very isolating. My my boyfriend was like very like, he was joking. He was saying, yeah, we knew how to social distance between this, like uh, before this whole quarantine thing happened. Because basically that summer we like didn't really, like we would only go see people if it was like a barbecue outside and we would like sit on the grass because we we're so scared of like giving our friends bed bugs. And some of our friends were like really chill and they're like, yeah, we know you're taking all the precautions, but we had like one or two friends that were very like, didn't really want us around. So it was like isolating. Like I, I don't, you know, I don't blame that friend. Like I wouldn't, I didn't want to give them to anyone, um, but it was hard. So that's one thing that like, you know, it, it can happen to anyone. It doesn't reflect on you as a person. So yeah, I hope, you know, you like the rest of this video. The pest inspectors had to come twice and spray our apartment twice before they completely went away. Um, so he, once again, we had to take our cat out. He was really unhappy, he's super stressed. We gave him to another friend who lived in our building at the time. Our place got fumigated and again. And the thing is like, even though um, when you wait, it lets the fumes like dissipate and it's not as bad, the, the odor still lingers and it kind of gives you a headache so it's really not pleasant and you still have to like be in your bed so it's not great uh, and we wouldn't let our cat in our bedroom because at that point there's just too many chemicals and stuff and already not great for us probably not like great for a small cat 
Um, so that was very frustrating and we had to redo some of the process of like redrawing some of her clothes and uh, it seemed like they were never gonna go away. Uh, and actually I remember thinking we were done and then seeing one, I think it was like the beginning of September and I was just like crushed. I was like, fuck, like, sorry. Um, I was like, oh God, like, why, like, why they will never leave and like having a breakdown and being like, we spent like so much time dealing with these. We've been so careful and, but eventually they subsided and uh, we're good for now, but I always have that fear that we're gonna have them again. And in fact, sometimes like I'll find like a dried up booger cause you know, everyone picks their nose in bed. At least, you know, I do whatever. I don't care telling you that. And I would find like a dried up booger or like a crumb cause you know, event sometimes you like eat in bed. Very rarely do I do that, but it does happen. And I'd like freak out, like I'd feel like really panicked. And then I realized, oh, it's just a crumb or a booger, which is gross, but you know, um, like, or I'll see a bug and I'll freak out and be like, oh fuck, we're having, we, we have bed bugs and like, so yeah, so I was, well, yeah, those are all the things I wanted to talk about today. I hope it wasn't too boring. I personally like find it makes for a good story, but also, and can also educate people. And I just want to say like, if you ever have bed bugs problems, don't hesitate to let me know. Cause I know people that had some after like this year, I know some people had some and I like, they contacted me. There's like, oh my God, what do I do? Like. What am I supposed to like do to like protect my stuff and like make sure they don't spread everywhere and do I have to pay for the uh, pests uh, exterminator and things like that so yeah I hope you found this interesting and I'll see you in my next video bye